Hey guys, it's Nicole. So this will be your weekend reading. This will be for April the 25th through April the 27th. Okay, so let's see what messages we have. This is for April the 25th, April the 26th, April the 27th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Need three cards of guidance for the collective. Let me okay, give you two more cards of guidance. Give me one more card of guidance for the collective. That's too many. Give me one more card of guidance for the collective. And one more card. All right. So, the first card we have is Angel of Psychic Ability. It says your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. The next card we have is Goddess of Nature. It says you reap what you sow and your dream is coming into fruition. And we also have Goddess of Awakening. It says, this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. The underlying message we have for everyone is Angel of Vision. It says, someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. All right. So I am using the original tarot by Debris, Debris or Debray. If you guys would like to purchase this um, deck, the link is in the description. What messages or guidance do we have? This is for the collective. This is for April the 25th through April the 27th, 2020. What messages for guidance do we have for the collective? April the 25th, April the 26th, April the 27th of 2020. Messages, guidance for the collective. What messages for guidance do we have? For the collective, this is for the weekend of April the 25th through April the 27th, 2020. All right. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords here. Um, I feel like there's some decisions that need to be made. There could also be some truth um, coming out, some clarity in regards to something. Strength here. Someone may need to find the strength to speak their truth. See that? Someone may need to find the strength to speak their truth. Let me see. If Excuse me, y'all. Let me stop it and then I'll wipe it. Okay. It looks like it was cloudy. But someone needs to be in, in this. Yeah. Someone needs to be able to speak their truth about some things. But like someone's not telling all. Tower here. Someone's going to find the strength to speak the truth here. Tower, there could be a significant event. Some of you guys may need to be strong through a significant event. There could be a tower moment this weekend in regards to your life. Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like there's a, you're at the gateway of a new life. Something is about to change here. Page of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, I feel like there's some news coming in. Some news of a new life here. Moon card here. But there, some of you guys may be dealing with some fears. Hermit here. I feel like you're going through the dark right now, trying to find your way. Ten of Wands, feeling very burdened, very oppressed here, needing to find your strength. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may need to find your strength to, for you to move forward. Queen of Wands, strength for you to take action. Um, Seven of Swords. Hmm. Some of you guys may need to overcome a situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone that is um, not being honest with you. Someone is not showing you their true colors. When I'm looking at my layout, especially with the cards that I got as the underlying energy, some of you guys are dealing with a person. Um, this looks like a feminine energy, um, but you're dealing with a person that is not showing you their true colors, that is not being honest with you. I feel like they're hiding their true intentions, hiding their true colors, hiding um, they're hiding the truth from you. So seven swords here, someone is lying to you. All right. I feel like for some of you guys, you may be in a space of being seduced um, by some lies or by something. Someone's lying. All right. Knight of Wands. This is so this is someone coming in um, impulsively. And I feel like they're coming in with the wrong intention. So for a lot of you guys, you are going to have to find the strength to release a situation in order for you to move toward a new life or in order for you to escape this type of energy. Why is the strength here? I feel like you need to be in the space of seeing truth around the situation. Eight of Cups, finding the strength to walk away. So someone needs to find the strength to walk away. 
Knight of Cups here, balance out their emotions, Ten of, of Swords here, so that they can embrace the end of a difficult situation. You have a new opportunity, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, you have a new life that's waiting for you, but this is like the last hurdle. You have to overcome whatever situation this is, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is something where someone is either, like I'm telling you, they're either seducing you through like sex, or this is just someone that is acting impulsively with you um they're lying to you impulsively so this is someone this just may be like a compulsive liar someone that is constantly lying constantly not being honest with you and they're you're needing to be in a space of overcoming your fears following your inner guidance and laying down the burdens of the situation why is this tower here we got the hermit in reverse so this is about releasing a relationship lust here this is a lust-based relationship. Some of you guys have the final strength to overcome your own desires and move away from this. So even if this is a situation that you enjoy, if you're aware that it's not within the right vibration, if you're aware that someone is not being honest with you or not showing who they true, like not showing their true colors, I feel like you could be confused about making this decision. Chariot here, um, judgment with the seven of cups. I feel like you're needing to kind of wake up and see the truth. So some of you guys could be having a wake up call this weekend. Ace of Pentacles here. We have the Devil card here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're fearing a new life judgment, but you're needing to really move forward. You're dragging your feet here. So for a lot of you guys, you know that this is a connection that you need to sever. You see the bigger picture here, but you're dragging your feet out of fear. Some of you guys may be lying to yourself and thinking that you can stay in this situation. I don't feel like you can. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really need to be true to your own desires here um, and overcome this situation or overcome whatever this is. This, all the cards that I'm getting are of low vibration. So for some of you guys, you know you're dealing with a low vibration situation and you're needing to find the strength to release it. Why is this page of wands here? Page of swords. Whatever this is, this partnership, this cooperation, whatever you can continue to put your energy into is creating a blockage or a delay within your life with the page of pentacles here i mean the knight of pentacles here actually the prince of pentacles here i think this is about you really making the moves necessary to move forward i feel like you know what's going to make you happy but it's about actually making that decision to to choose that so even if now for some of you guys it may not even be a relationship or a situation that's keeping you stuck it may just be your own beliefs um that are keeping you like your faulty beliefs because hierophant in reverse means false beliefs so you guys could have some false beliefs that are based off of 3d type of energies you know um negative energies fear-based energies um even lust based energies and i feel like for a lot of you guys you're really needing to make a decision to move into this new existence this new life um so that you can gain the abundance that you're manifesting this is like you're actively manifesting something better but you're not allowing yourself to remove yourself from the low vibrations that you're in either within your own mind or within your surroundings so moon card here why is this moon card here we got the hangman here with the two of wands yeah so moon card you're in the dark here in your feelings a little bit um really needing to face your own fears with the hangman here the two of wands you're at a crossroads but the reason why you're at a crossroads is because you need to change your you need to change your perspective. Um, I feel like you're looking at this situation the wrong, the wrong, in the wrong way. I feel like Eight of Cups here with the Four of Cups. If you're unhappy, um, all right. So like, like I was saying, saying if you're in suspension because, because you're, some, some of you guys are in suspension because you're living out of fear. You know that the situation you're in makes you unhappy, or you know that your current state in life makes you unhappy. So you need to be in the space of desiring or requiring more from yourself um this does require you to walk away to get on a new journey to get on a new path to follow your inner guidance this is about going within yourself and releasing the burdens overcoming the situation and kind of just taking action so for a lot of you guys this is just your own lack of confidence like it's time for you to take action and you need to take action but you're afraid um that means you're the only thing that's standing in your way. So if you feel like you're in suspension, it's more than likely because of you and maybe any faulty beliefs that you have. We got the Hermit card here. Why is this Hermit card here? Why is this Hermit card here? Why is this Hermit card here? 
we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're feeling as though you can't move forward because you may have some responsibilities to something or you may be in a space of just trying to manifest some abundance for yourself. So if this is like money issues, you could be in a space of feeling like you can't move forward because you're lacking in money, which money is just... It's, it's just paper. paper. That's not anything that will keep you restricted. There, where there's a will, there's a way. You can figure out a way to be able to move forward. Um, I know people don't like to hear that, but you can. Um, if you're lacking money, say for instance, you want to start a business and your business requires you to have a certain amount of money in the bank or a certain amount of money to, you know, invest into something. Create, create it. Like, if you gotta sell motherfucking muffins to get your goddamn, I don't wanna say muffins because I baked muffins for my baby this morning, but I'm just saying. If you gotta sell muffins or goddamn shovel dirt or do what you gotta do to put things in motion for yourself. Um, if this is, say for instance, you're in a bad place mentally um, and you're just feeling like your hands are tied because you can't get out of your head, that is a decision to stay in your head. You have the ability to detach from your thoughts and actually put things in action. You moving forward has nothing to do with your thoughts. Some people feel, you know, debilitated by their thoughts. I think that's how, or some people feel restricted by their thoughts, but it's only because you're allowing yourself to be restricted. Your thoughts are not anything physical that you can touch. So... Whatever you feel like is restricting you, it's not. If you feel like another person is restricting you, you're allowing that person to restrict you because no one has the ability to stop you from doing anything. So for a lot of you guys, you're trying to manifest happiness, you're trying to manifest abundance, but you're needing to really go within yourself. And I All right, so let's try this again because my computer, for some reason, keeps freezing up in the middle of this and I don't know why. So the next thing we want to look at is this Ten of Wands. Why do you feel burdened? Because there is some burden, some things that are oppressing you. So why is this Ten of Wands here? 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 We have the Knight of Cups here. Chariot here. World card here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about finding the motivation to complete a cycle. I feel like you're, again... For a lot of you guys, regardless of what you're trying to escape or regardless of what you're trying to get away from, I feel like you need to overcome your instability within your thoughts. Um, nine of swords is cruelty of the mind. So you're allowing your thoughts to keep you restricted or allowing your thoughts to keep you feeling burdened. You have the capability to, to, re, to remove yourself or to detach from your thoughts. Find something else to do. You know, go, go take a walk. Clear your mind. Go fucking, you know, swim or work out or watch some comedy something in high vibration you know it don't matter what kind of comedy just watch some fucking comedy watch something that makes you happy get off of fucking social media get off of social media um when you're on social media you got to understand it's social it's called social media for a reason you're dealing with a lot of different energies and a lot of different people so some of you guys need to detach from other people's energies and focus on yours hone into your own awareness of yourself and really detach from something that has no listen your thoughts have no power over you you have power over your thoughts so if you're allowing your thoughts to keep you a burden restricted and within yourself then you're allowing yourself to be stuck you have the capability to break free from whatever energy this is all right and i know sometimes you know listen i go through the same thing as everyone else sometimes your thoughts can feel like they are, you know, debilitating. I used to get to the point where I'm like, oh my God, I, I got to figure out what's going on. I got to just get out of my head. And it would get to the point to where I feel like I was having a fucking panic attack. And I, I have been known to have panic attacks. But once I got to the place to where I could become more aware of my own power within my life, meaning become more aware of what I can control and what I couldn't control, Anything that I can't control, I don't worry with it. I detach from it. My thoughts is something I can't control. So I can shut them off by either replacing. You ever heard of replacement therapy? Replacing my thoughts, like replacing those negative thoughts with happier thoughts, using affirmations. If I'm too stuck in my head, I go watch TV. Um, for those of you that, you know, take, take a drink, like drink a glass of wine or, or, you know, take a shot of something. One. And then move on understand you do have to face those thoughts eventually like you can't run from them forever but some of you guys are allowing yourself to get bogged down by something that is not even something that you can hold so nine of wands here 
Why is this Nine of Wands? This is about now the Nine of Swords is about overcoming your thoughts. The Nine of Wands is about mastering your your desires or mastering your the energies within you. Knight of Pentacles here, Three of Cups here. Some of you guys, this is about overcoming. This is the same fucking cards. Some of you guys, I feel like you have some burdens or responsibilities to another party that you're needing to overcome. You're needing to find the strength to overcome or to put in, an end to it. With the Queen of Wands here, I feel like you're underestimating your own abilities. So for some of you guys, you may even have some responsibilities that you feel are a burden. But you're the one that has the ability to change it. And until you change it, you're going to have to continue to deal with those responsibilities that you're taking as your own. You... I don't know if you guys know anything about like debt, like actual debt from debt collectors. You never, you never take, you never accept responsibility for a debt. You always say it's not my debt because once you accept responsibility for anything, it becomes yours. For a lot of you guys, you're dealing with some responsibilities or some burdens that are not yours, but you're accepting them as yours. So you're taking them on. Some of you guys need to release those burdens. These are not your burdens. It's not your oppression. It's not your situation. It's not your bullshit. Take care of you. Make sure that you are in a, a good place. So we have the Queen of Wands here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about overcoming your own feelings of defeat. Um, really mastering your own energy. Asserting yourself. Six of Wands here. Moving forward. Some of you guys are confused though. You're conflicted within your own thoughts because you keep allowing yourself to get wrapped up in your thoughts. Look. If you got to write a fucking list, pros and cons, right, wrong, write the fucking list, cut away what does not belong to you, cut away what is not your responsibility and be free of all of the burdens that you're taking onto yourself. Chill out. Seven of Swords as the outcome. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is lying to you. Um, that is pretty much, I feel like someone's lying to you to put more on you and eight of cups tower. Now I'm be real with you. Somebody's lying to you. I feel like you're going to find out. You're going to find out the truth about some lies. So I do feel like you're dealing with some lies and deception. And the truth is about to come out. Tower in reverse is unavoidable. So if you're lying, the truth is about to come out. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. If someone else is lying, the truth is about to come out. It does not matter. Eight of Cups, Tower in reverse with the Page of Pentacles here. I do feel like there is some clarity that's about to happen. Because someone is going to act impulsively. Um... And I feel like that action, and you may not even know you're acting impulsively when you do it. Because I know some people watch just to try to get around some things. This is unavoidable. It doesn't matter what you do. The truth is going to come out. Queen of Swords is under, Queen of Swords is under here. So there's about to be some clarity. And someone is about to be in the space of cutting away something that does not benefit them or is not their responsibility. What messages, what guidance do we have? co-creation so this is about creating this is about working with the universe to create something what messages what guidance do we have for the collective moving forward give me two more cards for the collective moving forward what messages what guidance do we have some of you guys have been dealing with a spider woman someone that has been trying to co-create with you for their benefit i feel like for a lot of you guys you're really needing to nurture your higher self right now you've been this is something that it's a pattern so some of you guys are dealing with a situation or someone that is consistently being manipulative or consistently being deceptive to you. Like I said, you could be dealing with a compulsive liar. Whatever the case, the truth is about to come out. I feel like right now you just need to nurture being in, the, in your highest vibration and work with the universe to create this new life that you're moving into. This is all I have, y'all. Until next time.